Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I'm talking about Lucidchart and specifically the integration between Lucidchart and application portfolio management architectural artifacts that was released in the Tokyo release and just updated in the ServiceNow store to version 2.0. I couldn't even get version 1.0 out before version 2 came out. That happens to me sometimes. But what I've got up here is a list of business applications. This is what we manage in application portfolio management. And I showed in a previous video the new architects feature or artifacts, artifacts feature, not architects. And within that that we didn't cover in the last one is this diagramming capability. So I can create diagrams within my ServiceNow instance and link them to Lucidchart. I'm actually going to create the lucid chart diagram from the data within ServiceNow. I'm going to start with this create diagram button up here at the top. Um, I deleted all the other stuff out. When you do this, it starts out with nothing. I'm going to call this IT service management and I'm going to leave it as business application hierarchy. Just know that you could do business capabilities as well. That's important when you're mapping. Hey, do we have an application that serves this capability or do we have too many applications serving this capability? We can get rid of some. For demo purposes, I'm going to stay with this IT service management example and I'm going to go ahead and select the application service business capability and information object. I'm going to leave this set to lucid chart, but we're going to create a new artifact. If you haven't watched that, go watch that video on me creating artifacts that have versioning, approvals, reviewers, and a process for managing them. So you can type control, especially if you have sensitive information. We'll go ahead and create this diagram. Oh, that's right. I already created this. So we'll call this IT service management demo. I'll create the diagram. It exists already in Lucidchart is why I got that error. Once you do this, it's actually pretty fast. It creates that diagram and I can go ahead and click on that and access it. And when I access it, it's going to go over to Lucidchart and it's going to open this. While all this is opening, let me tell you a couple things. Number one, it went too fast. Number two, um, when you do this integration, make sure you're on version two. Version one did not work for me. Version two, everything worked. When you're gonna need a team or enterprise account, this won't work with the simple or free account. Team or enterprise gives you the ability to have OAuth applications. And last tip, I'm gonna put it on the screen over here. When you do that OAuth configuration, it's missing from the documentation to add to your scopes offline underscore access. It's not there and you'll get a token that expires in an hour. If you include that scope, you'll get the token that expires in an hour and then you'll get a refresh token. You're gonna want that. So enough of that about the integration, a little bit technical there, but what you can see is what got created in Lucidchart behind me. Let's go ahead and zoom out here and we can see the whole diagram for this IT service management application. We have our relationships, I'll zoom in and post, but you can see the IT service management business app consumes or is consumed by the IT service management prod, which has an exchange server and service now. And it looks like a database over there on the left hand side, um, net shelter rack. I know it's a, it's a rack or infrastructure items. And then I can see the other things. So this all got built out based on the relationships. Now you can get, take this and you can start modifying what these pictures look like, how it looks, changing the style, um, moving things and, and doing what an architect does within Lucidchart, but now it is connected to this particular art architectural, I can't say that word, artifact. I actually mess up typing all the time. So now they're connected. You can see the versioning down here on the bottom. We also see that it's in a draft state. So if I were to go, this will be a good test. I don't know if this is going to change that. If I were to go change this to approved and save that, will that update on the ServiceNow site? I don't think so. It seems so far in this version, initial version that we're looking at a one-way integration that it's actually moving that back and forth. And then we'd handle the approvals for this particular version over here. So while there is a connection and you create it, once it's there, it's not syncing back. So I don't want you to be uh, misguided in that if you were to go add a server or a database here in Lucidchart, that that's gonna show up in your CMDB and service now. That's not it. It's just a quick way to say, all of that hard work that you did in APM and the CMDB and ServiceNow, getting that into Lucidchart really quickly, really easily, and then having a link to it and all your versioning that might be associated with it in ServiceNow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think is interested in integrating Lucidchart with ServiceNow's application portfolio management. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.